You got a bag. <laughs> you got a bag. It's a ghetto ass bag, but you got a bag, okay? Welcome back to my channel. You already know the vibes. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Just do everything on the damn screen. So today we're going to be doing a luxury handbag collection. If you're new to my channel, I'm very much into the classics. I'm very much into sustainable fashion, sustainable clothing. Um, so clothing I can use time and time again. Clothing I can piece with various other items. I would just like to let you know like entry level bags that I would say go for that I know I pick it up like say I'm picking up Primark or Zara bags. Um, that's how much I reach for it. So I'm getting cost per wear is very good. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would think I wouldn't have to put a disclaimer to say, oh, I'm not doing this to show off or whatever. But you know what? It is what it is. You're going to believe whatever you want to do. But for my girls who like to watch unboxings like I do, who like to like just look at what's out there and like might be wanting to start their own collection and don't know what to buy, this one's for you. If you don't like it, I think it's best to start small and then work our way up into like the bigger bag. Starting off with a card holder so this is the ysl ooh. this is the ysl card holder um ingrained leather um and gold hardware it's got five pockets and you can see it's full to the brim right now with all my cards and stuff but i've literally had this since october last year um the one thing which everybody knows when you get old hardware that isn't 24 karat gold or whatever gold it is, it would start to tarnish over time. So I don't think the tarnishing is that bad. Considering that I don't baby this at all, I chuck it in whenever, I pull it out whenever. Um, if there's not enough room in my bag, I'll just take my card out and just chuck it in my drawer or something. Um, so yeah, so this, this was a really good entry level card holder. Um, I've seen other card holders, but I really like the YSL. I think for the price you pay for it, it's just perfect. And the leather's still quite good. I've stretched it out a little bit, but it's still holding its shape. I would definitely say pick that up and it's, it's, it's what you get for your money, basically. And then one of the pouches I do have, this is actually for my Neverfull. This is the Neverfull pouch. So obviously you can see by the color here that I have the Rose Ballerina. Um, um interior with my level four and i have the Dam damia ben print um and literally this this is just a go-to literally i've seen people add on chains in here and I, I don't know how they do it i think they they loop it in somewhere but i've seen people add on like a chain on either side and wear it as a crossbody or a little belt bag so maybe i'll look into that but yeah it literally fits everything everything fits in here and it doesn't maybe it doesn't look that big compared to other things i don't know what i can compare it to maybe the toiletry pouch but considering it comes free with the never fall um yeah it fits a lot in here like i can fit so much in here and it will zip and it would just literally be like literally a clutch on your arm just hold it or you can just hold it as a clutch in your hand and take this off so completely up to you and i see a lot of people if you don't want to spend like a grand or whatever on a never for i see a lot of people sell these separately for like three five hundred pounds um i would say it's the same size um around as the pochette accessoire if i'm saying it right um i'm not sure about the depth of it but again i would say this is really good um the next thing is the toiletry pouch 26 now I have had mine for, <laughs> I've had mine since the beginning of time. So this has been through it. So this is when I say, what I was saying earlier, that remember that the LV, LV um, canvas is just canvas, it's just treated canvas. So it's very durable because this, is, this has been around for years and years and years. And I, God knows I've done everything you could do with this pouch. Just remember that it's not actually leather when you go into paying a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot for it. Um, and I, I don't know, now I've got a few, I start to look more at the epi leather that they have. Um, I'm really into the epi leather, like I would love the Pochette Felici in epi leather in black, that's just sweet. Um, but again, yeah, so this toiletry pouch, um, you can see how worn it is, like inside, I'm sorry guys, don't judge me, but I've had this for years and I get it wet. It's now actually my toiletry bag, so um, you can see inside that the leather is starting to peel starting to peel it been peeling okay it's, it's pelt 
<laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. It's peeled, guys. Um, so I've seen some people fix theirs with something they've picked up on um, Walmart. I've seen some Americans like fix theirs up, but I don't care that much. I literally um, put all my toiletry stuff in like my makeup bag or something first, and I just chuck it in here when I go on holiday or go where. So it, it served me well as a clutch before, before you know we could afford certain things, literally. This was like 290 pounds once upon a time or 260, if I remember correctly. And that would literally be the pouch that everybody and their mama had or has this pouch. So this was a very good entry level find into it. I know a lot of people, it's a very controversial topic because a lot of people are like, why are you carrying around the toilet tree pouch? You go into the bathroom. I'm like, babe, I've seen a picture with Princess Diana. Princess Diana, God rest her soul. You know, we love her on the beach with this toiletry pouch, okay? Way back then. So if it's good enough for Princess Diana, who am I? Who am I to say that someone should not carry it as a purse or a clutch? And the only reason I don't carry it as a clutch or a, um, a pouch now is that I've got this. So I, I most likely just reach for this instead. And the peeling inside is a bit annoying. It's definitely a good staple to have in your collection regardless of whatever you have. One of the other pouches I have, which is still in its box, and it's so bad because once upon a time, I love this pouch. I wanted it so badly. And my friends actually got it for me as a birthday present. I cried, I cried because I was gonna buy it myself. And one of my friends lied to me and just like, oh no, you can't buy it. Da, 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 da. And then he got it for me as a birthday present. So this is the Uptown um, pouch, YSL pouch in um, smooth leather and gold hardware and I love this thing. I I love this thing. When I first got it, I loved it. I wanted to take it every and anywhere. It was so classy, so chic. And um, I think now it used to be 305 pounds, but I know they recently increased the price. So it's now 350, but I still love it. It's got a magnetic closure. The only thing now, child, it don't fit too much. <laughs> it don't fit too much. You have to be playing Tetris in this bag. So literally when I use this, I use a very flat brush just to top up like um, frown lines and concealer or whatnot, um, a lip gloss, maybe my keys and my card. I wouldn't put my whole card holder in here. So you can see, and when you start to fill it up too much, like my card holder can fit, but it's limited in, 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 um, in respect of what else can go in here. And obviously you don't want to be dragging it out. I see some people stuff it up and then it's like, it's like, yeah, I don't really like that because it's a very flat, sleek um, clutch. So, I mean, your card holder and a few more items could fit in here, but yeah, I love this clutch. And what I do, it's a bit ghetto, but child, okay? I ain't about to spend, because they have an actual, they have an uptown bag and they have an uptown clutch on the chain, if I'm not mistaken. So it's basically a bag version of this. And I'm like, am I gonna pay 900 pounds just to have that when I have this? No. So what I do, I have a chain off of one of my old bags. Because this is a magnetic closure, it's not it's not going to um fall out but you have to be careful when you open your bag so i literally open it up tuck this chain underneath it and close it back and ciao you got a bag <laughs> you got a it's a ghetto ass bag but you got a bag okay so ciao like i wouldn't wear it as crossbody or anything but if i was literally going out to dinner or going out on a nice cute night it would be over my shoulder or you know i would just hold it just to have it on a chain or whatnot so i've got some pics um in this i think the last time i wore this was the sdk and it just looked so cute and everyone's like oh my god why is it on a chain i was like girl <laughs> i'd be doing some diy <laughs> but yeah this was a really good find obviously it was free because it was a birthday present but I really do, I really do enjoy this. Um, I haven't worn it in a while, but it's something I think I'll just keep. I wouldn't like sell it or anything. I'm selling 350 pounds. So it's something just to have. I haven't had that many scratches on it from what I can see. I don't know if you can see that. There's not too many scratches. Um, and again, I don't wear it often, but when I have worn it out, it's been a night out or a club night or something. So it's done pretty well, um, very durable and Surprisingly, the gold on the YSL has not started to tarnish. So kudos to YSL on that one. So on to my smallest bag. Once upon a time, I loved this bag. I remember when everyone was getting the, the mini Marmont, the super mini Marmont level. I put a picture of it up. I'm sorry, they were either getting the super mini Marmont with the pin closure or they were getting the um, super mini Dionysus in the, um, in the Gucci print. And I was like, no, I don't want to be like everyone else. I don't want that. Everyone's got it. Uh, da, 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 da. And then I saw this and I was like, yeah, I love it. Because it is still a super mini size. 
so you can't fit that much maybe your eggs you can fit in there so i put um i stuff my bags all with tissue well the ones that i need to um so i think i don't know where i got this from but yeah so in terms of size this is the card holder again once that card holder goes in there child ain't much <laughs> ain't much you're gonna be playing tetris again but i loved this bag once upon a time um and it's a magnetic closure as well so you can fit more than you can fit in the marmont super mini or the gucci dinosaurs so that's why i wanted this i love the gold hardware and obviously there's so many different ways to wear this bag i know you've got this chain that comes out here so you could just literally put this to the side and clip this back on and create one of those mini bags and look you've got a little cute mini bag it's so cute i love it let me show you up close i do love this bag it's just i haven't been reaching for it um as much so it is for sale i've put it up for sale um so let's see um on depop i think i'm selling it for 550 so that's like almost 200 pounds off of what it is now but i don't know if it's something i'll just keep and i might look for it later but i love the color i love the blush pink it is um and i just love the gold hardware i don't know why gold hard gold just makes everything look so much richer and expensive than it is um, and I've had this for a while and the gold isn't tarnishing. Yeah, I love this bag. You can wear it as a belt bag. You can wear it as just a long crossbody. I'll just show you the crossbody quickly. No, I love this bag. I love it. It's just, I wish I wore it more, but yeah. So this was, this is one of my smallest. Yeah, this is actually my smallest actual bag but yeah i love it i love it especially in the summer maybe i'm just thinking now in the summer when you're wearing like white with jeans and you just chuck this on it just complements it so much my next bag in size is the gucci dionysus in the mini so again you have the super mini so just imagine this was the dionysus you've got the super mini in terms of size is a tad smaller than the pink and then you've got this, this is the mini. And the names are so weird because the next one up from this is massive, yeah? It's like this much bigger and it's called a small. So I'm just like, Gucci, get it together. But this is again, it's coated canvas on silver hardware. And I love, I love this closure. It's a pin closure um, with the tiger head coming across and it's got suede, suede accents here on the side, on the side and on the bottom. But this is the bag. If you've got me on Insta, you've got me. I reach for this bag like like no other. This is my uniform. This is my uniform. When I'm going on a night out, it's just so easy to just chuck it on. It goes with anything. Make it a crossbody. Maybe and this is where this is where the crossbody sits. So you just push this in, and it pops up. It's got a flap here where I normally keep the authentic authentication card. Oh, I've got a mask. It's a pandemic. <laughs> it's a pandemic, guys. <laughs> it goes with so much and it holds, it holds so much, guys. Like I could literally put this in here and it will fit. Like, can you see what I've just put in here? This, and it fits, literally. So I, I tend not to overstuff my bags because I didn't want them to last a long time. If it's overstuffed, it won't open as smoothly because it's stuffed. So I just tend to not put too much, but on a night out, it fits everything and more. Like I can take my power bank, I can take my card. If I want to take my whole card holder, I can. But I just tend to take a few cards of my ID and, and stuff it in here to have more space. Lip gloss, powder brush, like anything. Everything can fit in here. So this was the perfect size for me because the small... It was just too, I couldn't imagine taking that to the club or somewhere, like a restaurant, dinner, party, birthday, yeah, but on a night out, it's just, it was just, it's too much to look after. And because it's so big, I feel like you're more prone to stuff in it because you have so much space and then people start asking you, Stephanie, can I put this in your bag? <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> but funny enough, I'm the asker. I'm like, can I, can I put this in your bag, please? When I want a top handle bag, I just literally stuff this all in. I know it's a bit, it's a bit bougero. Stuff this in and babe, it's a top handle. It's a top handle. I really wish they had a version with this in antique gold. So literally like a cloudy gold, but not for this print, maybe like a black or the red. I don't know if you've seen the red, I'll put it up or the black. It would look so nice in, in gold. Like I would love that. Cause I'm a gold babe. This limits me sometimes. I'm like, oh, I'm clashing a bit too much with the gold and the silver. But yeah, so another another way you can wear this bag. Love it too. The next bag is my baby. 
<laughs> I ain't got no babies yet, but this is my baby right here. This is the Alma BB. This is the most sought after bag. Everybody loves this bag and I love that it's gold hardware. <laughs> I love it and it comes with a strap. I don't always love the strap, but it's nice to have. Um, it's not adjustable, which I thought would be a problem, but on me, it sits quite okay on me. And I am 5'9", for reference, so sits here. I don't know if you can see this, hopefully you can. But yeah, I love this bag so much. Like, there's even still stuff in here. I think I went to Pico with this, put my glasses in here. But it's got so much space. Like, you could just keep fitting and fitting. And <laughs> I haven't got anything and fit in and you you could just continue fitting in here i love this bag so so much for the price i got it for and how much it holds and just how chic it makes everything look it's a top handle this is the coated canvas but you need to be careful because i've seen a lot of people spill um hand sanitizer so alcohol on it and it stained the canvas so and I'm, I'm not a baby kind of person. I don't baby my bags, but yeah, once I saw that, I was so careful. Um, so it comes with a clochette here. And this, I don't think I put my keys in here, did I? Oh, I did. These are the keys to the lock, comes with a lock as well. Um, obviously everything is gold hardware, gold accents. Um, this is all treated leather here. Love the red interior, it just makes it look so expensive, even though it's not. And I love that there's a double zip. Because when your bag is full, you're trying to zip it up. You're like, okay, that, that bit can stay. It's all right. <laughs> I love this bag. I love it. It's the Sac de Jour. Love it from Saint Laurent. Um, and what can I even say about this bag? Um, it's got accordion sides, as you can see. I just love the bag. I don't know what else I can say. This is like literally my school run, my anything bag, my dinner bag, anything I'm doing. I'm just like, mm, should I? Let me. Because I'm trying to get into the habit of not feeling that I can only wear it for special occasions. Because that's when I just start to feel a bit funny. Like, oh, if someone's looking at me. I was like, bruh, you pay for this shit. <laughs> you pay for it. You wanted it. Wear it. Okay. If they're looking at you, maybe they, they like it too. You can do them a favor and let them know where it's from. But yeah, I love this bag. I love it so much. There's a padlock in here. And that just says Saint Laurent Paris on it. It's the baby size. So initially, I wanted to get the um, Nano, which is much smaller. But I just thought... I'm not quite into it with all the mini bags. So I feel like a time will come in my life where I'm gonna want an actual bag that can fit something inside, okay? And I just love how understated it is. I love that you can make it bigger if you just pop, pop these sides and pop the back as well. And you could just make it, make it a bit bigger to fit whatever you're putting in there. I love it. I love it for a dinner. I love it for a casual. I love it for a brunch. The only thing is that obviously I've got this in smooth leather and I'm not sure if I'm mistaken, but I think it is lambskin or calfskin. It's one of them. Um, but obviously it's got a few scratches on it. But again, apart from that, for the fact that I wear it so much, Cosper wear is so good on this. You know what it is? It's one of them, if you know, you know. <laughs> that's what it is, period. If you know, you know, that's it. Like, I love that you wouldn't be able to tell this was another, like, unless you knew, you wouldn't be able to tell it was a designer bag, it was a luxury bag. You just think, oh, this bag is nice, it's cute, or whatever. And it's not too heavy, but you can feel this. And I just love it. I feel like I'll have it for years and years to come. This is my go-to. So, yeah. Ten out of ten. Bag that everybody and their mama <laughs> has it is my Neville Fool. You see, when people say, oh, everyone and their mom has it, da -da 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 -da, why are you getting it? You know what I say? You know, there's a reason why everybody and their mom has it, Abby. There's a reason. If the bag was not good, if you didn't have to get it, if you shouldn't have gotten it, if you should have gone for an alternative, everybody and their mother would not have this bag. It would, they would not. This is the Never Fall MM in Damia Ben print with um, the treated leather around the side. Again, this is where the pouch comes from and it's it's linked into here. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't want it anymore. I want something else. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Sit your ass down. You want this. The only thing I might say, I might change it. Um, if I could get the epi leather, then I would get the epi leather instead. Because sometimes I just feel like the print is too shouty, it's too out there. And I'm happy I got the rose ballerina instead of the cherry. Um, just because it's something different and it's light. I just like it. Um, so again, it's got pockets in here. Got, this is my everyday bag set, guys. So I've got stuff in here. There's pockets in here. You can fit a house in there, guy. I've gotten one of these organizers. I got this from Amazon, if I remember correctly. And then the only thing a lot of people tell you about is that the base on this, after a while, that's why I say don't spend too much money on canvas, child, because it is just that canvas. 
this is not leather okay um so after a while this starts to sag a lot of people say that with a speedy and they never thought that this sags after a while so what i did i went and got an acrylic base and literally the size fits i will link it if i can remember where i got it from i think it was ebay um this just fits in the base of the oh oh um this just fits in the base of the neverfall it gives it some added structure so you can see that and then once that base is in and i chuck the organizer inside it it is structured as hell it ain't going nowhere okay if you're gonna scare me to get this bag i'm gonna make sure this shit lasts a lifetime i promise you that because i've seen people that have had this for like 10 years 20 years so yeah i love this bag it's my work bag it's my travel luggage it's good for those short city trips in europe where you're going on easy jet or something and they're like limited luggage so i know limited luggage this is a suitcase in itself so that's fine <laughs> i'm gonna pop everything in here okay <laughs> this is my last bag um i have a few bags on my wish list um so i'll put pictures up here i have the black um gucci dionysus um in black leather um i'll put a picture up i just i've been seeing it so much more in passing i just feel like the universe is giving me a sign that i need that and again i, I just said like i'm moving away from the prints I just want bags I will always pick up or go with every outfit. So that black Dionysus, it's a chef kiss. It's a, it's a good one. It's a good eat. I've just done a quick overview. So if you'd like to see a more detailed one, let me know and I'll be happy to do that. But I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope I haven't rambled on like I usually do. But thank you so much for coming back and watching. If you already subscribed, you know gang away. You guys are gang. So keep your eyes peeled for the giveaway. Make sure you're following my Instagram so you see that. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to see when I'll be posting more videos. But again, thank you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.